stop scrolling. From this moment, you have a choice. Stay trapped in their financial simulation or break free and claim the wealth and freedom they've hidden from you. The system is rigged to keep you broke and powerless, but the power to escape has been within you all along. In this video, I'll reveal suppressed manifestation techniques inspired by Neville Goddard, secrets that can dismantle the lies and align you with unlimited wealth. Are you ready to rise above it all? Then let's begin. Since the moment you were born, you've been fed the same toxic lies. Money is scarce. Only a lucky few deserve wealth and success demands sacrificing your happiness. But here's the truth. They hope you never figure out. It's all a carefully crafted illusion. You've been programmed to think this way, trapped in a system that thrives on your struggle. They call it the financial simulation and it's not a necessity, it's a tool of control. Think about it. Why does money flow so effortlessly to the elite while the rest of us are drowning in debt, grinding our lives away and still coming up short? It's not because they work harder or are luckier. It's because they know something you don't. They've mastered the game. They don't grind, they align. They've hacked the system while the rest of us are stuck playing by rules designed to keep us broke and exhausted. Still think this is just some wild coincidence? Look at the wealthiest families on earth, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. Do you honestly think they're playing the same game we are? No, they write the rules. And those rules? They're built to keep you in your place. Every tax law, every banking regulation, every so-called economic crisis, it's all orchestrated. They create the chaos and we pay the price. But their control goes far beyond money. They control the narrative, the way we see the world. They shape what we're taught in school, the media we consume, and even the goals we're told to chase. Why do you think they sell us the American dream? Because it keeps us running on their hamster wheel. They'll never admit that the dream is a rigged trap, designed to keep you chasing something you'll never truly own. Let's expose their biggest lie. The idea that money is scarce. It's the foundation of their entire system. They've convinced you there's not enough to go around, that you have to fight for scraps. But here's the truth. Money is infinite. They print trillions of dollars out of thin air every year. Trillions. But they've brainwashed you to work 40 plus hours a week for crumbs. Why? Because if you realize the truth, their entire system would collapse. But here's the divine truth. The financial simulation isn't unbreakable. In fact, it's fragile. Its power doesn't come from force. It comes from your belief in it. The moment you stop buying into their lies, the entire system starts to crumble. Breaking free starts with one powerful truth. The simulation isn't just out there, it's inside you. They've embedded their programming deep in your subconscious, planting fear, doubt, and scarcity at the core of your beliefs. But the good news? You can rewrite that script. Imagine standing in front of a locked door. Behind it lies everything you've ever wanted. Financial freedom, security, abundance. They have spent your entire life convincing you that the key is somewhere out there, but it's not. The key has always been inside you. Here's the first trick to breaking free. Tonight, when you're lying in bed and the world quiets down, take a moment to close your eyes and let your mind drift back to those moments where money made you feel small, powerless, or stuck. The times you couldn't afford something the missed opportunities, the stress. Now, rewrite those moments in your mind. Picture yourself paying that bill with ease, seizing that opportunity, living the dream you thought was out of reach. Feel the relief, feel the power, feel the joy as if it's happening right now. This isn't just daydreaming, it's reprogramming. The same way the elites use media and propaganda to fill your mind with fear and scarcity, you're now flipping the script. You're using the same tools to escape their grip. 
Neville Goddard uncovered something so powerful, it would shake the very foundations of the system if everyone understood it. He taught that your emotions don't just reflect your reality, they create it. Every feeling you have is like a signal you're sending out to the universe, shaping the world you live in. Fear, doubt, lack, those signals keep you trapped in the same endless loop. But gratitude, confidence, and abundance? Those emotions are the codes to hack reality itself. I know, it sounds almost too simple, doesn't it? That's exactly how they trick you. They convince you that the answers have to be complicated, expensive, or locked away where you can't reach them. But the truth? It's right here, right now, waiting for you to use it. Close your eyes for a moment. Picture the life you've always dreamed of, the home that feels like pure peace, the car that makes you proud every time you drive it, the freedom to wake up, look at your bank account, and smile, because money is no longer a worry. Can you feel it? That spark, that possibility, that power, that feeling is your first step to freedom. But here's the catch. And this is where most people stumble. The simulation doesn't give up easily. The second you begin to break away, it will fight back. Suddenly, unexpected bills will show up. Doubts will creep into your mind at night, whispering, what if this doesn't work? People around you will say, be realistic. None of this is random. It's the simulation pulling you back, trying to keep you small. Most people fall for it. They retreat into fear, into struggle, back into the cycle they've been stuck in for years. But not you. Because now, you know the secret. And here's how you beat it. The first step, understand this. What you feel creates what you attract. Neville called this living in the end. It's not pretending and it's not daydreaming. It's becoming. You act, feel and think as if you've already stepped into the life you want. Imagine tuning a radio. If you want to hear a certain song, you don't just sit there complaining that it's not playing. You adjust the frequency until it comes through. Your emotions are that frequency. And every second of every day, they're broadcasting the reality you're tuning into. So here's what you do. Every morning, before you do anything else, Take five minutes to feel real, bone-deep gratitude. Not the kind of forced, I guess I'm grateful for coffee feeling, but a gratitude so powerful it makes your chest swell. Gratitude for things you don't even have yet, but already know are coming. Feel it as if you're living that reality right now. Pair it with excitement. Excitement for the unexpected ways money and abundance are finding you. Excitement for the miracles that are just around the corner. When fear shows up, and it will, don't run from it. Question it. Look it in the face and ask, is this fear real or is it just the simulation trying to hold me back? Almost every time, you'll realize it's just old programming, a shadow of the beliefs you're leaving behind. And the moment you confront it, it loses its power. Fear thrives on your submission, but it collapses when you stand up to it. Finally, start making decisions from a place of abundance, not scarcity. Spend money confidently, not fearfully. Invest in yourself, in your dreams, in the life you're creating. Take risks that align with the person you're becoming, the version of you who already has everything you want. Every time you do this, you're tearing down the illusion of scarcity, brick by brick. Because money is pure energy in motion, limitless and always flowing, waiting for you to tap into its current. But here's the secret no one tells you. This energy isn't accessed by chasing, fighting or struggling for it. That's exactly what the financial simulation wants you to believe. It wants you stuck in a loop, grinding, worrying and competing thinking that if you just try a little harder, you'll finally get ahead. But the truth, money doesn't respond to struggle. It responds to alignment. Imagine money like a river. The financial simulation builds dams, creates diversions, 
and convinces you the water is drying up, so you'll panic, cling to every drop, and fight for what's left. But the river is infinite. It never stops flowing. The problem isn't scarcity. It's that the simulation has trained you to stand in the wrong place, out of alignment with its flow. When you align with money's energy, it moves towards you effortlessly. No chasing, no clawing for scraps. Money doesn't want to be forced. It wants to be magnetized. And the best part? It's not reserved for a chosen few. It's available to anyone who understands how to shift their mindset and energy. So how do you do it? It starts with letting go of the lies you've been told about money. Stop seeing it as something separate from you, something controlled by external forces. Money reflects your energy and beliefs. It responds to clarity, focus, and trust. The clearer your purpose and the stronger your alignment, the faster it flows to you. Here's the exercise that can start changing everything for you. First, pause. Take a moment to check in with yourself. How do you feel right now? Be honest. Are you worried, frustrated, hopeful? Whatever it is, just notice it. Don't judge or try to fix it. A few seconds of awareness is all you need. Now flip the switch. Shift your focus to something beautiful. It could be the way sunlight hits the wall, the memory of a hug that made you feel safe, or the sound of laughter that once filled your heart. Let that feeling of beauty wash over you. Once you're in that space, ask yourself, why am I so wealthy? How did I come to be so wealthy? How did all this money find its way to me? Why is my bank account so full of money? Don't try to answer these questions. Just feel the curiosity and wonder behind them. Imagine seeing a huge number in your bank account and genuinely asking yourself, how did this happen? Let your mind wander into the possibilities. This isn't about figuring it out. It's about creating the feeling of abundance. When you do this with sincerity, something incredible happens. Your mind shifts gears. Instead of being stuck in patterns of lack and worry, it starts broadcasting a new signal, one that's aligned with wealth. And the universe, it listens. Opportunities, ideas, and connections will begin to show up in ways that seem almost magical. But don't stop there. The simulation has spent years filling your mind with limiting beliefs about money. If you want to truly break free, you need to rewrite them. Think of one belief you've carried for a long time. Maybe it's, money is hard to earn, or I'm not good with money. Ask yourself, where did this belief come from? Was it something your parents said? A teacher? An experience that made you feel small? Once you've identified it, replace it with something empowering. Instead of, money is hard to earn, try, money flows to me easily and abundantly. Instead of, I'm not good with money, say, I manage money effortlessly and confidently. And here's the trick that makes this stick. Use Neville Goddard's I remember when method. Speak as though your struggle is already in the past. Say, I remember when I used to worry about money all the time. Now, I feel free and abundant. Or, I remember when making money felt impossible. Now it's effortless. When you say this with conviction, your mind begins to accept it as reality. As you do this, you'll start to notice subtle shifts around you. Opportunities will appear where there were none. Random conversations will lead to breakthroughs. It might feel like luck, but it's not. This is the universe responding to your new alignment. Neville called it the bridge of incidents. It's the path the universe creates to bring you what you've aligned with. The financial simulation will try to pull you back. It will whisper doubts, throw obstacles in your way, and try to make you believe nothing's changing. That's how it works, through fear and distraction. But every time you ask those questions, every time you step into the feeling of wealth, you're dismantling its hold on you. This isn't just about money. It's about power. Your power to create, to attract, 
and to live without limits. The financial simulation wants you to stay small, but now you know the truth. Money is limitless energy, and you're the one who decides how it flows. So ask yourself, are you ready to step into alignment? Because once you do, the simulation doesn't stand a chance. You thought those earlier tools were the keys to freedom? They were just the warm-up. What comes next doesn't just crack the financial simulation. It has the power to shatter the entire system. This isn't about playing within their rules. This is about rewriting them. Welcome to Neville Goddard's most reality-bending method, the revision of collective reality. They don't want you to know this because their entire system relies on a shared belief. If billions of people collectively believe the lie, the simulation stands unchallenged. But what happens when we rewrite those beliefs? What happens when we dismantle the lies holding it all together? Think back to a pivotal moment in history, the birth of centralized banking, the Great Depression, the rise of corporate empires, or maybe something closer to home the first time someone told you money is power, or that you'll never be rich unless you work harder. Picture it. Feel it. Now, erase it. Rewrite it. Visualize that moment differently. Imagine the financial system crumbling before it had the chance to control us. Picture wealth flowing freely, not hoarded by a few, but shared effortlessly among everyone. See the illusion shattering like fragile glass. Can you feel the shift? That's not just imagination. That's energy. That's reality bending under the weight of your vision. And here's the kicker. Every time you revise a story, every time you rewrite a moment in history, even in your own life, you're sending a ripple through the collective consciousness. Neville knew this. He knew that reality isn't static. It's a projection of what we believe. And when enough people change the story, the projection itself has no choice but to follow. Now take it deeper. Don't just stop at a single moment. Expand the ripple. Imagine millions waking up, the lies dissolving, the systems of control collapsing like a house of cards. Picture abundance pouring into every corner of the world, no gatekeepers, no middlemen. The elites thrive on chaos. They profit from the belief that money equals power. But what happens when the narrative shifts to this? We are all limitless, and so is wealth. What happens when the masses realize that the chains were never real? The elites lose everything. Their power is a mirage, and you've just learned how to break it. And here's the mind-blowing part. This isn't just about you. The more of us who do this, the faster the simulation crumbles. Every individual revision adds to the collective momentum. It's like pulling threads from a massive web. At first, it seems small. Just a thread here, a thread there. But pull enough, and the whole thing unravels. So here's how you do it. Every night, close your eyes. Think of a moment in history that represents control, fear, or limitation. Imagine yourself stepping into that moment. But this time, you're the writer. Rewrite it. Feel the freedom ripple through time. Imagine the people awakening, the system losing its grip, the wealth that was locked away flowing freely into the hands of the many. And then go even further. Picture how the world transforms. Picture families no longer bound by debt, people creating instead of surviving, abundance no longer being a privilege but a birthright. This isn't just daydreaming, it's liberation on a universal scale. Do you see what's happening here? Every thought, every vision, every rewritten moment weakens the simulation. You're not just breaking free, you're dismantling their entire system. They've spent centuries weaving this illusion, but it only survives because we agree to it. What happens when enough of us say, no more? The game ends. This is bigger than personal freedom. This is about creating a new reality. One where the rules aren't written by the few at the expense of the many. One where wealth isn't locked behind gates, but flows like energy, as it was always meant to. The question is, are you ready to step into that power? Because the moment you do, 
they lose their grip. They can't survive without your belief in their lies. Reject them, rewrite them, and watch how fast the world begins to shift. And if you feel this energy right now, if you feel the ripple of this truth stirring inside you, don't keep it to yourself. Comment. Let's do it together right now to show the world that we're united in this. Together, we're pulling the threads, dismantling the illusion, and building something unstoppable. This isn't the end. This is the beginning. Welcome to the collapse of the illusion. Welcome to the birth of a new reality, one that you helped create. Now let's cut straight to it. Your life, your financial reality, and everything you've ever thought was holding you back can be rewritten starting now. Forget everything you think you know about effort, struggle, or waiting for your moment. This is your moment. This is the method that can shift your entire reality if you're ready to use it. It's called quantum seeding, and here's how it works. First, decide what you want. Not vaguely, not someday, but right here, right now. What do you want to see in your life? Be specific. Is it $5,000 appearing in your account? Your debt erased? A new opportunity arriving out of nowhere? Write it down as if it's already happened. I am so happy and grateful now that $5,000 has been effortlessly deposited into my account. That's it. No, I hope, or someday, you're claiming it as yours. Now here's where we unlock the magic. Go to YouTube and find the song Legend, Two Steps From Hell, Heart of Courage, linked below. This isn't just background music. This is your frequency tuner. Put on your headphones, hit play, and let the energy of the song take over. As the music builds, start speaking your affirmation out loud. Repeat it with everything you've got. Feel it like it's already here. Imagine seeing the exact number in your bank account, holding the money in your hands, or living the life that this abundance unlocks for you. Don't just say the words, feel them. Let the energy of the music amplify your excitement, your gratitude, your absolute certainty that this is already yours. Here's why this works. Your emotions are the most powerful force in the universe. When you feel something deeply and consistently, you're not just thinking, you're broadcasting. You're planting a seed in the quantum field that reality has no choice but to respond to. Now is the part most people miss. Once you've done this, let it go. You don't need to chase the result. Check your bank account every hour or wonder if it's working. The universe works best when you trust it. You've planted the seed. Now let it grow. Repeat this every day. Five minutes, that's all it takes. With each repetition, you're carving a new groove in your subconscious, aligning yourself with the reality you're creating. This isn't just a technique. It's a transformation. It's the moment you stop waiting for life to happen and start creating it. The only question is, are you ready to claim it? If you are, click the link below, play the song and follow this method. This isn't just another exercise. It's your escape route. Your new reality is waiting. The only thing standing between you and the life you want is one decision. Will you take the first step? Now that you've started rewriting your beliefs, it's time to supercharge them with the one force the financial simulation fears most, your emotions. Why? Because emotions aren't just feelings, they're energy in motion, the vibrational signals you broadcast into the universe. Those signals determine what flows back to you. They know this, which is why they're designed to hijack your emotions, fear, doubt, shame. These low vibrations keep you locked into the frequency of scarcity, feeding the illusion that you're powerless. But here's the secret. When you take control of your emotional state, you break the system. They lose their grip, and the flow of abundance that's been waiting for you finally rushes in. So let's make this practical. Right now, imagine that your financial struggles are over. Close your eyes and see it. 
your bank account overflowing, debts cleared, your dreams fully funded. Don't just see it, feel it. Feel the relief, the joy, the freedom. Let it wash over you like it's already done. This isn't daydreaming, it's vibrational alignment. You're tuning yourself to the frequency of abundance. And when you do that, the universe has no choice but to respond. But make no mistake, the simulation won't let go easily. It will throw triggers your way. Unexpected bills, rejections, sudden expenses. These aren't just random, they're tests. The simulation wants to see if you'll fall back into fear, if you'll forget your power. Most people fail here. They react with panic spiraling back into scarcity. But not you. The next time a trigger hits, pause, take a deep breath, Remind yourself, this is just the old program trying to run. It doesn't control me anymore. Then ask yourself, what would my abundant self do right now? Maybe they'd see the bill and think, this is already handled. Money flows effortlessly to me. Or they'd treat rejection not as a failure, but as a redirection to something better. This is what Neville called persisting in the assumption. It's about holding on to the feeling of your desired reality, even when the physical evidence hasn't caught up yet. Most people give up here. They let doubt creep in and sabotage everything. But those who persist, they see the simulation collapse. Now let's add a secret weapon. Gratitude. Gratitude is the ultimate disruptor of scarcity. It flips your focus from what's missing to what's already abundant and what you focus on expands. Each morning, write down three things you're grateful for, financial or otherwise. Maybe it's the money you already have, the opportunities that have come your way, or the fact that you woke up today with the power to create change. Feel that gratitude. Let it raise your vibration. But don't stop there. When fear or doubt creeps in, use gratitude as your weapon. Find one thing you can appreciate in that moment, no matter how small. Maybe it's the $10 in your pocket, the roof over your head, or the potential for what's coming. Gratitude breaks the simulation cycle of fear and reminds you that abundance is already present, even in small forms. Now, here's where it gets revolutionary. At the end of each day, use Neville's revision technique. Review any financial challenges you faced, an expense, a moment of worry, anything that triggered scarcity. Close your eyes and rewrite the scene. Imagine yourself handling the expense with ease, feeling calm instead of anxious. Overlay those memories with gratitude and abundance. This doesn't just change your perception. It reprograms your subconscious to expect abundance instead of struggle. As you align your emotions with abundance, you'll notice something extraordinary. The universe will start to shift unexpected opportunities will appear. Financial windfalls will come out of nowhere. Connections and synchronicities will seem too perfect to be coincidence. This is what Neville called the bridge of incidents. It's the pathway the universe creates to bring your desires into reality. But you can only cross that bridge if you're aligned with its frequency. If you've made it this far, you're already taking the first step to rewriting your reality. Don't stop now. Take action. Comment, escaping now below in the comment section to declare your intention. Let's change our lives together. Now that you've begun rewriting your beliefs and mastering your emotions, it's time to unlock the mechanics of manifestation on a level so profound it will shatter every limitation you thought was real. Here's the truth they've buried. Money isn't real. It's not the numbers in your account or the paper in your hand. Money is energy pure, fluid, and limitless. And like all energy, it flows to where it's directed. Neville Goddard uncovered this when he taught that your consciousness is the only reality. Everything you experience, wealth, success, abundance, is a projection of your inner state. The financial simulation has spent generations convincing you otherwise. It wants you to believe that money is external, something you must fight for or chase. 
but that's the illusion. The truth is that wealth isn't out there. It's within you, waiting to be activated. Let me make it clear. Your consciousness is like a quantum field broadcasting signals to the universe. Every thought, every belief, every feeling sends out a vibration. If that vibration is fear, unworthiness, or doubt, the universe reflects scarcity back to you. But when your vibration is gratitude, trust, and abundance, the universe has no choice but to respond in kind. The financial simulation thrives by hijacking this process. It uses fear to keep you tuned to scarcity. Headlines screaming about recessions, constant messages of not enough, Endless reminders to grind harder, or risk losing it all. These are not accidents. They're deliberate strategies to keep you on the wrong frequency. But the moment you shift that frequency, you take control of the flow. Here's how you do it. Start by identifying the patterns of scarcity that have been ruling you. How do you feel when you think about money, anxiety, frustration, despair, these emotions aren't facts, they're frequencies, and they're the ones the simulation wants you stuck in. The first step to escape is to interrupt that signal. Neville Goddard's technique of assumption alignment is your gateway. This isn't about wishful thinking. It's about embodying your future self so completely that your current reality begins to reconfigure itself. Close your eyes and imagine yourself already wealthy. Feel it, not just in your mind, but in your body. See the notifications from your bank. Picture your dream home, the car you've always wanted, the freedom to live exactly how you choose. Let the emotions of relief, joy, and empowerment flood through you. This isn't daydreaming. This is activation. Your subconscious doesn't understand the difference between reality and imagination. It only responds to emotional intensity. The more deeply you feel the emotions of abundance, the more your subconscious begins to rewrite the story it's projecting. Here's where we go deeper. Manifestation isn't about chasing. It's about opening. The financial simulation trains you to force outcomes, to work harder and faster to make things happen. But true creation doesn't work that way. It's about aligning yourself and letting the universe orchestrate the details. Neville referred to this as the unfolding path. It's the natural sequence of events that begins to move when you align your energy. Things that seem random, a call from an old friend, an unexpected opportunity, a chance meeting, are not random. They're part of the universe's response to your vibration. Your only job is to stay aligned and recognize these moments as steps on the path to your desires. Now, most people stumble here. They let doubt creep in. They obsess over whether it's working. That doubt, it's the financial simulation whispering in your ear, trying to pull you back. When it happens, and it will, pause. Remind yourself, the path is unfolding perfectly, even if I can't see it yet. To anchor yourself further, practice quantum gratitude. This is gratitude not just for what you have, but for what you know is already on its way. Each morning, write down three things you're grateful for, as if they've already happened. For example, I'm so grateful for the $20,000 that came into my life this month. I'm deeply thankful for the freedom and ease I now enjoy in my finances. Feel that gratitude as if it's real. Gratitude is a signal booster. It amplifies your vibration accelerating the shift in your reality. The financial simulation wants you to think you're small, powerless, and at the mercy of external forces. But now you see the truth. You're the creator. Wealth doesn't come from outside of you. It comes through you. The unfolding path is already forming under your feet. All you have to do is trust it, stay aligned, and take inspired action when the moments appear. The question isn't if you can escape it. It's whether you're ready to create a reality so expansive, so abundant, that the simulation dissolves into irrelevance. Your time is now. The energy is shifting. Will you step into it? 
Now that you've unlocked the truth about the financial simulation and begun aligning with the frequency of abundance, it's time for the most powerful step, turning your newfound awareness into action. This is where you take everything you've learned and use it to dismantle the simulation's grip on your reality completely. It's not just about feeling wealthy or imagining abundance, it's about embodying wealth so deeply that the simulation itself bends to your will. The first thing you need to understand is that action doesn't mean struggle. The simulation has conditioned you to equate effort with results, to believe that success only comes through sacrifice. But that's just another lie designed to keep you in the loop of scarcity. Real action, the kind that transforms your reality, is inspired, aligned and effortless. It feels like flow, not force. Think of it this way. The universe operates like a GPS. When you input your destination, the vision of your abundant future, the universe starts calculating the best route. But here's the catch. It only gives you the next step, not the entire map. Most people get stuck waiting for the full plan to reveal itself, doubting the process and missing the opportunities right in front of them. But the secret is to trust that first step, even if it doesn't make sense in the moment. Neville Goddard referred to this as the feeling of the wish fulfilled. It's not just about imagining your desired outcome. It's about acting as if it's already done. This is where you step into your future self, making decisions and taking actions that align with your new reality. Ask yourself, what would my wealthy self do in this situation? How would they approach opportunities, handle setbacks, or invest their time and energy? Then do that. Every action you take from this mindset strengthens your alignment and accelerates the collapse of the simulation around you. But here's where the simulation will try to fight back. It thrives on distractions, throwing obstacles in your path to make you doubt your progress. You might face unexpected bills, rejections, or even criticism from those around you. These aren't signs that you're failing. They're proof that you're disrupting the system. The simulation hates change because it thrives on your predictability. The moment you step out of its script, it panics. When this happens, remember the principle of persistence. Neville Goddard taught that persistence is the bridge between your inner state and your outer reality. It's about holding on to your vision, your vibration, and your belief, even when external circumstances try to pull you back. Every time you persist, you're rewriting the code of your reality. To make this process even more powerful, let's talk about the quantum wealth routine. This is a daily practice designed to keep you aligned with abundance, no matter what the simulation throws at you. Start your day with five minutes of gratitude. Not just for what you have, but for what's on its way. Feel the emotions of relief, joy and confidence as if your desires are already fulfilled. Then, spend another five minutes visualizing your ideal day as your wealthy self. See it, feel it, and most importantly, believe it. Throughout your day, Stay alert for what Neville called inspired action. This is the subtle nudge, the gut feeling or the spark of curiosity that leads you to your next step. It might be as simple as making a phone call, sending an email or starting a new project. The key is to act on these impulses without hesitation. They're the universe guiding you across the bridge of incidents, connecting you to the opportunities that match your vibration. But the real magic happens at night. Before you go to bed, use Neville's revision technique to rewrite any challenges or setbacks from the day. Did you feel fear or doubt about money? Did an unexpected expense throw you off balance? Close your eyes and reimagine those moments as if they played out exactly how you wanted. See yourself responding with confidence, handling the situation effortlessly and feeling completely at ease. This isn't just about changing your perception, it's about reprogramming your subconscious mind to expect abundance, no matter what. Over time, these daily practices will create a compound effect. 
The simulation will weaken as your new beliefs and vibrations take root. You'll start to notice opportunities appearing where there were none. Synchronicities, guiding you to the right people and places, and money flowing in ways that feel almost effortless. This isn't magic. It's the natural result of aligning your inner world with the abundance that's always been available to you. But here's the final most important step. You must let go. The simulation thrives on control. Your need to micromanage every detail, to force outcomes, to cling to timelines. But true manifestation requires surrender. This doesn't mean giving up. It means trusting that the universe knows the best way to deliver your desires. When you release the how and the when, you create space for miracles to unfold. Neville Goddard said, Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and persist in that assumption, and it will harden into fact. This is your power. This is how you escape the financial simulation, not by fighting it, but by outgrowing it. By becoming so aligned with abundance that the simulation has no choice but to dissolve. Take a moment to reflect on what you've just unlocked. Most people would have hidden this knowledge behind a paywall, selling it as some overpriced secret. But not here. Not me. Why? Because I'm on a mission to expose the truth the elites don't want you to know, and to empower as many people as possible to break free from the financial simulation. But here's the thing. I can't do this alone. I'm trying to hit 300,000 subscribers before the end of the month. Not for vanity, but to build a movement, a force of people who refuse to stay trapped and are ready to rewrite their lives. If you felt even a spark of transformation during this video, I'm asking you to take one simple step. Hit subscribe. Let's spread this message together and grow a community of creators who aren't just surviving. They're thriving, breaking the chains and creating limitless abundance. And here's the energy shift I want you to make right now. Drop I'm out of the simulation in the comments below. Declare it to the universe. Declare it to yourself. This is your moment to rise above the noise and step boldly into the life you've always known is yours.